Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls Online. So, I hope to never again play this game anytime soon. Uh, one of my goals in, for this game is to beat all the quests and everything. And hopefully never oh wait no i'm going the wrong way uh and hopefully never again to play this game again until that is until the next expansion comes out and then i'll you know go out of my way to just like oh yeah maybe i'll live stream it instead of just recording it spend time with you guys and stuff like that so yeah that's my goal I'm long and join me on the ride ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Sorry, I'm a little busy here and wait, it's you. You helped Kirith and I and Bethaniel. Yep. It's good to see you again. Things didn't go so well for us after those ruins, so we're up north now. Kirith still talks about those light crystals, though. Uh what are you doing here? My sister Kirith and I traveled for a morrowind in search of forgotten lore and ancient relics. The scholars at Shadastula laughed at us, and the Mage's Guild ignores us. But we're going to find something they can't ignore. Need any help? Well, my sister went into the ruins and hasn't returned yet. She can take care of herself, but I'm starting to get worried. Kirith keeps a journal, but she's hard on her books. Always loses pages. Follow the pages, and they'll lead you right to her. And I'll find your sister. Resolved is one of those ruins is like you wouldn't technically be going there unless it was for a quest. I think um Resolved was uh Alright. Raynor and I are and I are actually getting paid paid for for this delve. That's a step up as far as I'm concerned. After, bleh, after Bethaniel who need, needs the academy we're ready for the big time bring on the mages guild we but but we really need to find something good to impress the guild something sometimes it feels like they they're just hum, humoring us Raynor thinks that with the backing of the king of skyrim though we have a better chance to get in i hope he's right well now I'm, This place is full of traps. I've never seen so many in interested or dangerous contraptions in one place. I wonder what the dwarves were hiding in here here that that needed so much protection. I'll wait wager that whatever it is, it it would actually impress those stuffed ro robes in the guild. <laughs> nice. There are so many locked doors and passageways. I wish I could explore them all. Oh, people are here. But one of but one thing at a time. Renor and I have a tendency to overcomplicate things like he should talk. I wish I could spend more time in here. I see ev evidence of some kind of massive machine, but I don't have time to pry pry open all the doors and look for it. Stupid journal binding. Why do I do I, why do my pages keep falling out? You know it's a pain locating these ancient ruins. They're always in the mo most inconvenient places. Once you find them, though, exploring is so worth the effort. I'd get give up the Mages Guild entirely if I knew all the ruins if I knew where all the ruins were. Then I could spend all my time exploring. Fair enough. Raynor ma ma Raynor's magic device works pretty well. I particularly and I'm particularly invisible to dwar dwarven constructs. It does flicker every three three and a half minutes, though. I've got to make sure nothing near nearby when no, nothing's nearby when I finish count counting two two to two 
counting to 210. I had a few close calls before I determined the time between each misfire, but since I figured figured that out, I haven't had any problems. Raynor got, got the idea for this device while studying the light crystals in, in at Bethaniel. Amazing. One of his devices actually serves a useful purpose. Well, all right then. Curse, m curse the luck. Stupid, cheap journal binding. Some of my best entries have fallen out. Oh well. This whole pla place no rumbles every so often. As I get deeper into the ruins, Mazal feels more and more unstable. It's like the entire structure is about to collapse or something. That would be bad. I came acro across spots where the walls and ceilings have fallen in, letting in snow and, uh, snow and sunshine. And I feel a, co a cold breeze blowing from deeper in. I hope the, the passage I'm looking for isn't buried. Damn, the wind took another page. I found it. I'm sure this is the vault where the Dwemer ca kept all their best lore and stuff. That was e even this weird... That, that there was even this weird crystal mechanism but i needed but i need a key to activate it and now the stupid device that Raynar gave me is really starting to act up i don't think think go, going going to i i don't think it's going to last long enough enough to get me past the constructs i better find a better a place to hide until i can figure out what to do next Raynor so, will, will, will be so proud of me. I documented my entire exploration of the root ruins, even though this stupid journal keeps falling apart, and I found the Dwemer vault. But without Raynor's device, how will I avoid the constructs to find the key? Danger is only fun. Fun, fun to boast about later. Oh, this isn't good. Not good at all. The constructs seem to know I'm I'm here, and they keep looking for me. Where Where's my useless brother when I really need him? I hope hope someone comes looking for me soon. I can't get out out of here without attracting more constructs. And now I'm hungry. This is bad. This is worse than 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 when Raynar built that thing that turned all all the clo clothes in town. In town, town invisible. What for? For a day and a half. Vivek, where's Elder Arrow? Matt was Elder Arrow Arrow? Not mad about that. The lock, the lock on the dormer mechanism is far more complex than any than any I've dealt with before. All of my lock picks have snapped. Note to self. Find some Dwemer metal I could use to craft new lockpicks. No terrain or stop letting me get myself into these predicaments. <laughs> Bruh. Had a few too many close calls trying to salvage some me me metal to make a few to make new lockpicks. I'm not ter terribly interested in getting impaled on a spike. And every time I could I stopped to dig around for a key. The constructs swarm after me. I'll need to invent something protective when when I manage to get out of here. 
Maybe some kind of special boots or hat? Hello. Hi there. It's great to see someone who isn't made of metal and trying to chop me to bits. Are you just exploring? I hate to tell you, but we were here first. But good job getting this far without one of Raynor's crazy devices. Your brother sent me to find you. Raynor sent you? Well, that was nice of him since it's his fault I'm stuck down here. His stupid invisibility device stopped working, and now the constructs won't stop chasing me. Anyway, you have my thanks. Our research points to a treasure trove of lore buried in these ruins. I even found one of the lore vaults. It had a Dwemer memory device and everything. But the area is buried in snow and swarming with constructs. Also, we need a key. That sounds kind of difficult. That's why I'm coming with you, silly. I won't let anything happen to you. Promise. Besides, I have the shovel. Anyway, you keep the constructs away from me, and I'll dig for the key. How's that sound? Okay, sounds like a plan. Great. Let's go. I'll stick close if you don't mind. You look like you can handle that weapon you're carrying, and I'd rather not get eaten by a construct. If we get separated, I'll meet you back here. Okay. Oh, this, this, this piece of crap, crap shoot. Just broken glass shards. They're everywhere in here. Wait, over there. No key here, but this glass looks like a crystal lens. Fuck me. Wait, over there. Hello. Where am I going? Right, right, right over here. See that? That's a Dwemer memory device. I've seen them before, but never one that was intact. my eye something in my eye. assuming i am interpreting these scrolls correctly like these orb this orb when magically charged retains images when it's cloudy when within its cloudy depths the scrolls depict its con 
it containing information on two specific topics, the use of the Dwim of, of Dwimmer's soul ge gems and map maps of Dwimmer installations. Obviously, the mage scholar will will want the information about soul gems, but the map are more interesting to or are, are, are more interesting to me. As yet unearthed, Dwimmer ruins may contain more much more valuable knowledge, although the mage will balk at at passing on practical information. This can be used right now. There's a lecture on the relative value of, of a bird in hand in my immediate future. And printing on orb up here is simple. I just need to hold one near near one of those Dwemer memory devices. The ones the ones with the with the crystal and the energy will rush into it along with the associ associated information. But I need to fi find an or orb to copy the information too. That's more of an issue. And I found, and all I found are glass shards and a few intact orbs. I found, I found, I found have been smashed. What? The orbs I found have been smashed. Okay. Into altercations with constructs they seem to want to destroy the orbs rather than let me have one wait a moment something's happening why the why are the vaults clo doors closing fourth sun sun's dawn second era, era 129 i estimate i est, i'm estimating on this time on, on the time it's probably the next day by now the vault door, door, doors have closed behind me and are quite thoroughly locked. All I ha have to come up with a different way to escape. I'll have to come up with a different way to escape. I did find an intact orb in the sack here, but I'm going to wait to use it until I'm sure I can get out of here. Well, my guy, you didn't really... <sighs> Son of a bitch. Ah, I hoped I'd find you two down here. I repaired the lift. What did you find? Raynor, this device fills up glass orbs with old lore, like filling a decanter with fine wine. A memory device? You found one that works? It's intact. But we need a glass orb to see if it actually works. Did you figure out what kind of lore the device contains? I see two important bits of lore. One explains how Dwemer used soul gems to power their constructs. The other contains a map of Dwemer ruins across Tamriel. Soul gems? That knowledge would open a lot of doors for us. A lot of doors. But think about what we can do with those maps. Access to every ruin. Those are the doors we should be opening. Are you suggesting that we become common treasure hunters? Well, think how famous we'll become if we bring both bits of lore to the Mage's Guild. I don't think we can, brother. I think there's only enough power in this device to make one imprinting. Give me a second, guys. As we've worked so hard to get them to listen to us. This is our chance, sister. I'm not sure. But our friend here has found an orb we can use. Hey, what do you think we should do?
What do you think? We've only got the one orb you found. If I knew the location of every Dwemer ruin, I could explore places no one has seen since the Dwemer were actually alive and kicking. That would be amazing. Anyone can be a scholar, but I could visit places no one alive has ever seen. What do you think? We've only got... What do you think? Kirith trusts you, so I do too. We've been working to get recognized for years. Up until now, our discoveries have been curiosities, not important findings. Information on how the Dwemer use soul gems in their constructs, though? No one could ignore that kind of finding. I do, don't I? Thank you, friend. Kirith and I will be able to force the Mage's Guild to accept us. For that matter, we could even go back to Shadastula if we wanted to. Could you talk to Kirith about this? I don't want to upset him. You're right. This is going to work out. I love to go delving without a care, but Raynor can't stand it when everyone mocks him and doesn't take him seriously. I can understand it. Raynor deserves a little recognition. Hey, I had everything under control until... No, you're right. I don't have the best track record. I keep needing help. Maybe the Mages Guild will teach us how to be proper adventurers. Or Shadastula. We should be able to write our own ticket now.
have to help me. Please help me. I pushed her down, and now she's gone. It was the only way I could get away from those horrible monsters. We were on our way back to Windhelm. We decided to take a shortcut, and those monsters surrounded us. I've never seen anything like them before. They were everywhere, all around us. There were so many of them. I... By the three! Look out! I need to go. I need to get out of here. Those things are everywhere. Please, my friend may still be alive. If you see her, you need to save her. We were near the center of the hot springs when we were attacked. I... I pushed Imke down. It was the only thing I could do to get away. I wasn't thinking. I never meant to hurt her. Please, find Imke. I need to go. Stay away from me, you monster. Damn it, woman. You need to come with me now. The sun hurts me more than you know. We need to get inside. Scales here is about to have a really bad day if she doesn't come with me right now. That bite, it's spreading faster than she realizes. These creatures are the twisted offspring of a vampire and their bite is just as dangerous. Once bitten, the curse seeps into your body. It gets into your blood until the fever takes you. Then the craving comes over you. The craving for blood. There may be a way. I need to get her back to my manor, though. If she stays out here too long, the sun will find her. Then she'll experience a pain like she has never felt before. Right now, she just needs to shut up and listen to me. I'm just like the creatures that attacked her, except my mind is my own, and I'm a little more sensitive to sunlight. Now, before you do something we'll both regret, hear me out. If I'm going to save Scales, I'm going to need your help. I need blood fiend dust. You can get it from the creatures that bit her. Then maybe we can reverse the effects and save Scales here. I'll keep her safe in the meantime. If you can get that dust, Bring it to my manor. Time to go, Scales. We need to make sure you don't turn into one of these creatures. What are you doing? No, don't let him take me.
Big man said you'd be showing up soon. He's upstairs with the lizard girl. Scales tried to escape, so we locked her up. Nothing to worry about. Just want to make sure everyone stays safe. It won't be long before she gets that crazed look in her eyes, though. You saw those things out there. They're mindless monsters. As ugly as they are evil and only interested in killing and feasting. Do you really want scales out there attacking people? No? That's why I put her in a cage. There's a chance, but it's just that, a chance. There's no guarantee she'll survive the process. I've seen it kill as often as it cures. It's a risk, but the alternative is far, far worse. You've made the right decision. I promise I'll do everything in my power to help her. We'll watch over her. If she doesn't improve, we'll make sure she doesn't succumb to the bloodlust. Believe me, you won't regret this. Poor Scales burns with the blood fever. She'll be trying to eat every face she sees soon enough. Who would wish that fate upon her? Well, I suppose my father would, but you'll learn more about him shortly. I promise we'll look after Scales. We'll make sure that she's safe and that she doesn't hurt anyone. Now, I need your help. You saw for yourself. Vampire abominations prowl the springs. Those are my father's toys, sick creations of his evil mind. We've all been infected, cursed, plagued, call it what you will, we're vampires. But we don't have to succumb to the curse's savage nature. My father thinks otherwise. He believes we should embrace the bloodlust, the power, taking those who can't oppose us and making them our own. A civil war rages through East March. He feels the time is right to strike. He wants to grow an army of undead before anyone notices. My father must be stopped at all costs. He's already targeted the Winterland Hunters. He's about to turn them into his puppets. Joruk downstairs can tell you how to save them. That's our first step. We turn my father into dust and end his tyranny once and for all. The hunters are merely a distraction. If we deny him their blood, he'll grow curious, perhaps even vulnerable. He'll want to know who interfered with his plans. I hope Balearic didn't convince you to join our cause. Our battles never end well. True, his father's a bastard, but he's a strong bastard. Valeric can't beat him, and those who help us usually die. But enough depressing talk. How can Jeruk help you? Ah, yes, many times. Each time, things have gone horribly wrong. It usually ends up very messy. Lots of blood, but don't worry about it. Everything will be different this time. Yes, yes, Jaruk always has a plan. The blood fiends hunt by scent. They have the hunter's scent and await the command to strike. If we mask the scent, the blood fiends will lose interest and wander off. The hunters will be saved. Take this liquid. It is a gift from Jaruk's close friends. I forgot Jaruk. I was muted. Don't ask what it God is. God damn it. You don't want to know. Splash it on the hunters. Make them smell like something the blood fiends won't want to eat. The hunters won't mind getting splashed with this? Oh, they'll hate it. They'll probably try to kill you. It's best if you rough them up a bit first. Show them who's stronger. Then splash it in their faces. As long as they end up very smelly, the hunters should be safe. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I totally forgot I was muted. I was on the phone with my mom. So I was muted. 
Major. You've made contact with Majorn's son, Valeric. He's a troubled young man, ashamed of his heritage. Majorn simply wishes to end the conflict with his son. For this reason, my lord requests to meet with you. Why me? Oh, it's not just you. Others have tried to help Valeric. They either see how futile their task is, or they fail. My master wants to explain this to you. You don't have to make any decisions right now. Just hear him out. Where do I find him? He will meet with you in his manor, the one to my left. No harm will come to you at this time. Majorn gives you his word. I know where the hunters are. I just want to talk to this guy and deny him the pleasure. You must be curious as to why I summoned you. I want to give you an opportunity to learn my son's true intentions. His fire is admirable, but he does more harm than good. What do you mean? Valeric opposes me because I embrace my true nature. I take what is mine without thought or hesitation. Valeric questions everything and tries to fix our people. He deprives them of what they need to survive while telling them there is a better way. And how does that work out? When they finally taste fresh blood, the fever takes hold. They become wild, savage monsters, more dangerous than anything I create. Many call me evil. But at least I do not feed indiscriminately. I feed to survive. I feed to increase my power. And what do you want from me? Valeric must be stopped. My people may kill hundreds, but when his followers lose control, they kill thousands more. I hide nothing from you. I am not a good man nor a good father, but I shall not kill my only son. For that, I need your help. You're a monster and you have to be stopped. If that is your decision, so be it. After you leave here, know that I am your enemy. And you will die. When next we meet, I will tear out your heart and drink your blood. And that shall still be better than if one of Valeric's followers becomes crazed and attacks you. Dude. I'm actually kind of glad, glad that I didn't follow you into the depths of bloody oblivion. You can kindly go, go straight down. Someone leveled. some people <laughs> oh that's awesome hold on 
on. Can I destroy this blood fiend? Apparently I can't. You saved the lives of the hunters. You ruined their clothes, but you saved their lives. My father will be upset when his slaves fail to locate new prey. He'll become curious. Then we'll catch him off guard. How do we do that? My father won't risk going outside. It's too dangerous. The sun is deadly to his ancient form. No, he'll send his thrall Tunis to see what went wrong. We need to catch my father before he returns to the crypts and locks the doors behind him. And then what? Rala will sneak into my father's manor and wait for Tunis to return. She'll deal with him. I need you to enter the crypts. Rala may be a vampire, but she's still young. She wouldn't stand a chance against an ancient. Maybe you shouldn't send Rala? Rala is quick. She can blend with the shadows. Slitting a thrall's throat is well within her capabilities. But someone more powerful than her needs to confront my father. Okay. Please leave me alone. I don't want to talk about what happened here. What happened? I couldn't resist the urge. I had to feed. Valeric keeps us locked away. He doesn't let us feed. Not naturally. Not like this. I need blood to survive. Why deny me this pleasure? This isn't what Valeric taught you. I don't care what Valeric taught us. This is who we are. This is what we are. If we ever hope to defeat the Ancients, we must embrace the power as they do. We can't keep feeding on skeevers and hope to grow strong. We must. We must feast. This isn't you, Rala. You have to control yourself. It's been so long. You just don't understand. How could you? I need this to live. Valeric starves us. We mostly feed on animals, finding criminals when we can. There's a reason we're not as strong as the Ancients. We must grow stronger. No, uh, I... You're right. What am I doing? I've fallen just as the ancients wanted us to. Here, this is the key to the crypts. Tunis had it. Go in there and end this, please. You um <laughs> hmm. 
Neonid increased to level six. Well, that's good. Feast upon your sweet, sweet blood. I just got ran the, ran over.
He's gone. I can feel it. His presence faded when you struck him down. We don't need to fear his tyranny any longer. Your father had a lot of followers. Are you worried about them? You killed Mayor, not me. Don't take this the wrong way. We're grateful for what you have done, but you did it. You destroyed a tyrant who could have built a formidable force, one strong enough to challenge the Scald King. Now, that won't happen. What will you do now? We will go somewhere safe. A place where we won't be a danger to others. My friends still have much to learn. I can't risk others until I know they can control their temptations. No one will fall victim to our people again. Cool. Two-handed increase the level 30. Did I miss a lore book? I did. There we go. I did miss a lore book. How could I have missed the and a sky shot? God damn it! <laughs> I missed the lore book, a sky shard, and this. Come at me. It's about time Windhelm sent someone. What took you so long? 
Mara storm cloaks at me. Just you? I hope you're tougher than you look. Sorry, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but we're in trouble out here. The storm fists came out of nowhere and forced us to retreat from the fort. We escaped, as did Lieutenant Koruni and a few of her soldiers. I don't know what the storm fists want, but we haven't seen that clan around here for almost a decade. What can I do to help? Koruni sent word that she plans to sneak into the central barracks. If you could liberate the soldiers that were captured during the battle, you could assist the lieutenant when she tries to retake the barracks. I'll free the captured soldiers and meet Karuni and at the barracks. Good luck freeing our soldiers. I'll stay here and wait for the detachment from Windhelm to arrive. You know, I'm just gonna fight as a true Nord should. Finally, hurry up and untie me. I want to get out there and crack some heads. Here you go, meet Caroni at the bar barracks and keep your head down. All right. I won't crack any heads until the lieutenant says so. I'll meet you at the barracks. And forgot about me. Let me untie you. Rendezvous with the Lieutenant Cor Coroni at the barracks. I'm on my way. Captain Hamar and Lieutenant Koruni finally sent someone to get me out of this. It's about time. Let me get the let, let me let me get those ropes. You need to sneak to the barracks. Everyone's mustering there. Thanks. I'm on my way. I think the uh, sky shirt is over here somewhere. Not sure. I have come to set you free. Get up and go to the barracks. Thanks. I'll see you there. Can I? forgot certain quests don't allow you to leave unfortunately what is it? you rescued my soldiers for that you have my thanks happy to help what's next we are ready to take back the barracks i need you to deal with the invaders commander the nord called halska find his orders we need to know what's going on they should be someplace safe not far from wherever you find the lout all right, I'll deal with Halskar and find his orders. I had a feeling about you. Glad to see that I was right. Now follow us. Okay. Oh, hell. Hello.
Need help? Ow. Hey, you know what? I'm getting free experience. Getting free experience, man. Who knew? Nernhild, Queen of the Nords. I come to you from Sovngarde with an urgent demand. What do you need, Spirit? The relics you took from that strong box were stolen from the royal tombs beneath Fort Morvensgar. And what should I do with these relics? Return the relics to their rightful places in the tombs below, of course. What else would you do with them? Accomplish I mean... this task, and I shall forever be in your debt. I'll return the relics to the tomb. Meet me behind this building, at the entrance to the tombs. I shall wait for you there. All right. are clear how did you fare against Halskar? uh Halskar is dared i found these orders in a lockbox along with these relics let me look at those orders i see those dogs came up through the crypts that's how they surprised us it says something here about their true prize being in the crypts below i wonder what they could be after these orders make it sound like the stormfist wants something from inside the royal crypts and they were actually signed by Fildgor Orkthane. That means the Skold King's traitorous brother has returned. What can you tell me about the royal tombs? Just what I know. Skyrim's royal family and their honored servants are interned below. Well, the dead ones anyway. The fort was built to protect the crypts. They are precious relics to be sure, but nothing to make these brigands risk so much. These relics were in the box when, with Hulk, Hulskar's orders. Well, there you have it. Thievery and desecration. Still, these orders seem to imply there's more to it than that. Perhaps you could go below, return these items, and make sure everything is all right. I was heading behind this building. Yeah, I was heading in that window anyways. Go on, check out the crypts. We'll handle things up here. Did you see that woman I was talking to? Woman? What woman? I saw you strike down Halskar, pull something from the lockbox, and then pause for a long moment. I thought you were catching your breath up there. I a ghost appeared when I took possession of the of these relics. Well, they do say that the royal tombs are haunted. Soldiers tell stories of seeing and hearing strange things during night patrols. Still, if a spirit spoke to you, those relics must be special. Did the spirit happen to give you a name? She claimed to be Queen Nernhild. Queen Nernhild. Our beloved queen was struck down in battle against the Akaveri ten years ago. I'd listen carefully to whatever Queen Nernhild said to you. You are truly blessed, my friend. Okay. Wounded. Need help. Bum, 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 bum.
you know what? I really need some stamina. I've been waiting for you to arrive. What do you want from what do you want me to do? The relics you recovered are very important. When they were removed, it disturbed the Draugr below. Please return the relics to their proper resting places. Nothing simple enough. There's nothing simple about this matter. You must return the relics to the exact spot they were taken from. Inspect each chamber carefully, for there will be clues as to the proper placement. I can advise you, but I know little of these relics. I'll do my best. Alright, I think from memory I know where these relics go. This chamber contains the remains of the honored cupbearers who served the rulers of Skyrim. And so should I return the old cup, no, old Nord cup to this chamber? I believe so. The old Nord cup symbolizes and honors the servants who perform the thankless duty of providing for the needs of each generation's royal family. Do you have any idea which altar is it was taken from? All I can tell you is that the cup holds the key. Examine it carefully and choose wisely. All right, so simple altar. I think this is what it is. I know to be the correct altar. I've done this a That's few good. times. I will see you in the next chamber. I've done this a few times and I kind of know what to expect now. How dare you flame me? Sometimes are removed from. Hmm. Hello. This chamber contains the remains of advisors who served the throne, trusted counselors, viziers, and shamans are buried here. What can you tell me about this book? The book contains a collection of ancient Nord proverbs. As you can see, a page has been torn out. But that was not the only book damaged when the Stormfists invaded this chamber. You need to find the correct page to restore that ancient book. Which one? Which page is the correct one? Read the book and any pages you find. Matching a torn page with the writing in the book should be simple enough for one of your experience and skills. Okay. When the snow fades and the river run and the rivers run flat, fat, fat. I thought it said flat. The sun sits like a flower on a young boy's hat. The wise Nord knows it can never last. He enjoys the day. Though it travels fast, when the snow is gone and the river run and the rivers run dry, the sun beats down like an angry eye. The wise Nord knows, though the day is long, these are the days he he is ha hale and strong, growing like a seed from the fre fresh spring soil. When frost returns and the rivers choke, and the rivers choke. The sun dips in the sky beneath evening smoke. The wise Nord knows 
though his strength may fade, it is time. It is time to plan and time to say, OK. Page when winter comes. OK, so that's not the right page. So I'm looking for. For a dusty page, maybe. I think maybe this is it. Dry page. When the snow returns and the rivers freeze, sun hides like a child between its mother's knees. The wise, the wise Nord knows that the end comes soon. He grows impatient, awaiting his doom. That sounds about right, I think. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. I think it's the dusty page. <clears throat> it is not the right page. Try again, mortal. All right. Which one was it? No. There we go. Excellent. Who knew you could read ancient Nord? I can't. Now the chamber remains. I is wrong something is terribly terribly wrong what's the matter my body the crown of freitas they should both be here but they are gone did the storm fist take your body no layers of magical protection engulfed the interred any storm fist that tried to even touch my body would have been obliterated only those of royal blood could have no what is it my brother has all honor deserted him why would he do such a thing Filled go. go quickly. Perhaps you can catch him before he gets away. You must retrieve my mortal remains and my crown. Gets past you, Shakur. Cover my escape. You're too late. Shakur has his prize. He's in free of us by now. Oh, you're back. Lieutenant Garuni's plan worked perfectly. And she says she owes a success to you. Good job. What happened here? What happened up here? While you were in the tomb, Garuni launched a strike against the invaders from the barracks. A detachment of soldiers arrived from Windhelm just in time to help us take back the fort. That's good news. It is indeed. And thank you for your help, my friend. As long as we hold Fort Morvenskar, you are welcome here. 
I no longer know my own brother's heart, but now I know yours. Even though Fildgore escaped with my crown and my mortal remains, you have performed a great service this day. I'll find your body and your crown. Also, I still need to return your amulet to your tomb. Keep the amulet. You earned it. And as long as you carry it, we will always be connected. Awesome. Thanks for your help. You did great work today. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. With Fort Morvenskar back under our control, we should send word to the king. Let him know that the royal tombs are secure. Will you deliver a dispatch to Fort Amal? King has gone to Fort Amal. Yes. Reinforcement from Windhelm brought the news. The king has gone to Fort Amal to meet with packed dignitaries. Take word of a victory to the fort. Speak to Thane Oda, Wolf's sister there. I'll head to Fort Amal as soon as I can. We're going to get the fort up and running again. My scouts report that there are still Stormfist troops in the area. Where did they see the Stormfist troops? My scouts report that the Stormfist are fortifying Cradle Crush to the southwest. We can't let them establish a foothold or we'll never get rid of them. What is Cradle Crush? It's an old orc fortress. But it hasn't been used by hostile forces in years. We should attack the Stormfist as soon as possible. If only we had the troops for such an action. We're in no condition for another battle right now. But I think we have time. Something strange is going on over at Cradle Crush. But it doesn't appear that they are about to launch an attack or anything. Strange? What do you mean? What the? We're going to get... It's an old... Unusual sounds. We hear crashes and moans, toppling trees. We see smoke on the horizon. I have no idea what to make of it. And I can't spare anyone else to investigate right now. I can do it. I can do it. You don't look like it. The big one spotted your approach. Be warned. Cradle Crush isn't the idyllic place it once was. What happened here? You don't know. The big folk prepare to march to war. I sense that you and the big folk share a common foe. I'd say you arrived just in time. I like that in a champion. What are you talking about? The Stormfist captured the giant's mammoth. They plan to use them against Fort Amal. If you oppose the Stormfists, then you are an ally of the big folk. Take this horn and blow it at the nearby cave. It will summon a giant to your side. If you say so. Stormfist scouts hide in the trees. They ambush us when we least expect it. The giant can help you knock the cowards from their perches. Then kill them and collect any orders they carry. If you find something, meet me at the camp to the west. And I may have answers. Ask away. For the same reason anyone fights with giants. They're stupid. Fildgore Orkthane leads the Stormfist to war against his brother, the Scald King. Along the way, they revel in malice and destruction. That's just one of the consequences of war. And how can, how can you speak giant? I don't speak to giants. I know them. I know. Uh, uh, what does that mean? I'm a friend of the giant. Okay. <laughs> All right. You.
Nope. I see victory in your eyes. What did you find on the Stormfist Scouts? I collected these notes from the Stormfist Scouts. Excellent. We couldn't have gathered this information without you. Now, with your continued help, we can take back Cradle Crush and drive off the Stormfist invaders. The notes you discovered suggest two weaknesses in the fort's defenses. The gates and the captive mammoth. Once you get inside, you must free the mammoths to cause havoc and unlock the gates to let us in. Then what? Warlord Lob and his lieutenants have made the arena at the heart of Cradle Crush their headquarters. Use a horn there to sound our attack and strike fear into the invaders' hearts. Free the mammoths, open the gates, and blow the horn. I'm on it. The giant near the natural wall, just behind me to the west, is ready to help you. Just give him a poke, and he'll do the rest. We'll look. Mm -hmm. Poke. Well, I'm inside the... <laughs> I'm inside the fort. Didn't even fight back. Come <laughs> on. 
You did well. Better than I or my master expected. Now, only one task remains. What task is that? <clears throat> the warlord who leads these brigands lobbed the cleaver. He's inside, along with the deadly orcs that are always at his side. They're a nasty piece of work, the lot of them. So Lob the and sound the horn. So Lob won't be alone. Almost certainly not. In addition to the Stormfist Legion that Fildgor Orkthane put into his command, Lorb travels with a dozen of the fiercest, most savage orcs you will ever have the pleasure of fighting. They're really quite impressive. Oh, can I defeat so many? Don't you know where your right, champions must fight you in the prescribed? You don't get to know everything, mortal. Does that frustrate you? Just know that some grudges are ancient, and some answers are beyond your understanding. You would abandon this cause that you have worked so hard to advance. If that's what you wish, go. I won't stop you. But I think you... I think not. Such a path fits neither my role nor my disposition. I am a friend, not a foe. Besides, this is your mission. I wouldn't want to steal your glory. Blow the horn and the big folk will come. Alright, fine. So, you must be the one causing so much trouble for my troops. Well, that ends here. To me, my honor guards! You don't look like you'll last very long in here. Formal! To Maul! Rip the intruder apart! Watch out! The giants are hurling boulders into the arena! You think you're really something, don't you? Let's see you defeat three elite orcs. Welcome back, friend. You survived the challenge and helped the giants take back the stronghold. I couldn't have asked for a better resolution to this situation. Well done. Lob the Cleaver is dead. I know. I felt his life force depart when you struck him down. Go in peace, giant friend. You have our attention. Gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs>
First, I want to get this quest before I do anything else. Urgent sent help to Lost Knife Cave. The Orc Thane's army has taken control of the mine. They are forcing us to provide ore to the Orc Thane, to Orc Thane Field Gore so he can outfit his army with weapons and armor. Kerrig can lead you to the mine, but be careful on your approach. The Stormfist mercenaries have killed several miners and they keep and they keep hostages within the mine, mine at all times. Knife mine, stranger. I found this note on a dead miner. Oh no. I hoped Kerrig made it to Fort Amul. Orkthane Fieldgore's troops have taken over the mine. Half of us were sent to work in the mine and serve as hostages. The other half wait out here and worry. My family's in there right now. Okay, what can I do to help? We need weapons. Overpower some of the soldiers, grab their weapons, and give them to my husband, Yomand. He's somewhere in the mine. Also, set a few miners free along the way. Look for my siblings, Treedy and the Drek. I need to know they're safe. Okay. Stop that. Did my sister Etaki sent you? Yes, it's almost time for the miners to make their move. Good to know. We've been doing what we can to confuse and delay them. Yormund has been sneaking around, passing along information. 
Sometimes he's even in disguise. These thugs are easy to fool, but they're scary when they get angry. Thanks for the help. See you outside. <gasps> Quiet. I don't want them to notice us. Didn't I see you outside? You must have met my twin brother, Thelm. Let him know I'm all right. He worries too much. Leave me alone. Do you want the storm fist to come over and chop my hand off? They'll do it. Or worse. I've seen how cruel. I'm fine. The trick is to look busy. The storm fist don't really know what we do down here. I don't want them to hurt my sister Garvilda, though. So I just keep moving so they think I'm working. I saw you take out some of those men. What the shit happened? I saw you take out some of those bastards. That can only mean we're taking back the mine. That's right. Go find a a Taki? Best news I've heard since this started. You need to find my sister's husband, Yomond. He's up ahead, sneaking around in disguise and causing all kinds of trouble for the storm fists. He needs to know what's going on. I'll go help the others. Much appreciated. Over here. Keep your voice down. You must be Yeoman. I am. Saw you helping some of the others. I've been sneaking around, sabotaging what I can. Sometimes I pretend to work. Sometimes I wear their armor and go where I want. They don't really pay that much attention. Did my wife, Eitaki, send you? Yep. Excellent. We're strong and we're determined. With weapons, we can rout Filgor's troops. Their leader, Magister Ozan, has been investigating the deeper chambers. And that worries me. What can I what can I do next? The mine is as good as ours again. Thanks to you. I could use your help against the Stormfist leader, though. Magister Ozan. She searches the deeper chambers. We broke into an ice cave and found an ore we had never seen. It seems to have magical properties. Before we could determine anything else, these thugs arrived. Does Magic Magister Osane? know about the mystery me metal we hid the sample in our research notes but i think the magister is suspicious she's looking for something back there i'd like you to retrieve the research notes and the ore sample i can do that we were in a rush so we hid our notes in an urn on the scaffolding in the next chamber we left an ore sample in there too but there's a chance ozan found it you could disguise yourself and grab the notes 
crates of you. What's a little extortion among the friends? Fuck me, dude. <laughs> so close. Over here, friend. How did you fare? I recovered the ore sample and the notes. That's good news. While you were doing that, my miners drove off most of the Orkthane's troops. Milk drinkers, every last one of them, will clean out the stragglers. I have one more favor to ask of you. What else do you need? That chamber, the one where we found the mysterious metal, we left some of the ore in there. But the trolls, they seem attracted to the stuff. They won't let us near it. Deal with the trolls and recover the rest of the ore. I will meet you outside. All right.
Thanks to you, the mine is ours again. I found more ore. Thanks. I'm grateful that the mine is once again safely under our control. I sure would like to learn more about this mysterious metal, though. I'm almost sorry we discovered that mysterious metal. I don't know what to do with it, but I don't want King Yoren's enemies to have it either. A friend of mine at Fort Amor might be able to tell us more about the metal. Do you want me to take it to Fort the the, the ore to Fort Amor? That would be extremely helpful. The Argonian, Alito, is an alchemist. She tinkers with metals and crystals and dabbles in all kinds of magic. She'd be able to identify the metal. You can find her in the alchemist shop in Fort Amor. I'll take it to Alito. Happy that the mine is back under our control, but I can't shake this bad feeling I have. Do you do seem a bit worried? I am. I overheard Magister Ozan say she sent word to the Orc Thane about an unusual discovery. After I told Treby what I heard, she decided to scout the area. We don't want any more surprises. Do you think more troops will come? I hope not, but who can say? Could you watch for any of Fildgore's soldiers? A courier, maybe? We don't want word about that mysterious metal reaching the wrong ears. If I see anything, I'll take care of it. We've set, settled into Lost Knife as directed. We just need to push these lazy miners to start producing a bit more ore. Probably have to set a few more examples to motivate them. The rotating ho hostage tactic is effective in keeping them in li line with minimum bloodshed, but it doesn't necessarily make them more productive. You may want to send someone here to examine an unusual ore that we found. It has some old, odd properties possibly magical in nature it could prove useful or valuable this is not my field of study though since someone with more of a background in, in alchemy or metallurgy are you you found a messenger was she carrying osan's letter what did you find when you took down the messenger i found a letter addressed to fildgore i'll take that and burn it We've had enough trouble with Fildgore and his followers to last a lifetime. Thanks for intercepting this. I hope things settle down now. I think we'll be fine. Maybe we'll be a little more diligent about guard duty. We don't want to get caught unawares again. Thanks for... I'll make sure this letter is destroyed. <laughs>
Mending the skin stealers take Rhonda. Listen, if you're part of this group, I already explained this a dozen times. Feel free to enter Fort Armel, but the inn is full. There's no more room. And the Jarl's Keep is off limits too, of course. Why are there so many people in Fort Armel? King Jorin and the Ebonheart Pact leaders are meeting here. Between the Nords, the Argonians, and the Dark Elf contingent, they filled up the inn. They even had to set up tents on the far side of town. They must be meeting about something important. That's not for me to say. I don't even want to guess. Commander Ian might have an idea, but you'd have to get it out of him. Whatever the king's business is, though, it must be urgent to call the various leaders of the pack together so suddenly. Thanks for the information. Where's that lazy skiver? I'm going to kill you. What do you want? Someone steal your gold pouch or something? I'm wondering what's going on in town. What's it matter to you? Have business with the king, do you? Yep. You stand in line with the rest of the peasants. Seems like Peasant? Every alley How decided to dare you? Whine about something when they heard the king was coming. But he's not here for that. Then what's he here for? King shows up with his honor guard and all the pact officials clearly up to something important. And you just expect me to tell you what that is? Did you always get milk when you whined for it as a baby? Be off! I need to find one of my guards. You're going to stick your nose into this no matter what I say, aren't you? Fine. Thod decided to have a drink with the prince's entourage last night. Haven't seen him since. Probably passed out somewhere. But I can't be too careful right now. I find thought for you. Will you tell me what, what the king is meaning about? I just want this all to be over. We're not used to dealing with so many different groups all in one place. All right. Find thought and I might let some information slip. The guild requests your help. Whatever may I assist you with, perhaps you need your pillow fluffed, or maybe you need me to cut up your food for you. Wait, I know you. From Desham. Don't say a word. No one must know who or what I am. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Yes, Naryu. Whatever you say, Naryu. Uh, Thod, wake up. I don't want to. Want to sleep. Perfectly good dream. Oh, Naryu. I love you, Naryu. I am. Okay. If you're still looking for Thod, I wouldn't worry about it. He and the commander headed for the barracks. Thod's getting an earful, I'm sure. I apologize if we wasted your time. But I just left Thod. He's asleep by the river. I'm sure it was one of the other guards. There are a lot of us, and we're known to relax with a bottle of mead or two when we're off duty. And never to excess. So really, I wouldn't worry about it. I know who I found. Listen, I saw them both just a moment ago. And unlike the commander, I slept last night. Now, it's not that I don't believe you found a drunk Nord by the river. It wouldn't be the first time. It's just that it can't be Thod. I can prove it. What do you mean? Both the commander and Thod headed towards the barracks on the west side of town. If you hurry, you should be able to catch up with them. Then you can go get a drink and relax. Seems like you could use it. First, I want to 
talk to this guy. Filgore's troops sweep through the west as they press their assault. Our scouts report that they're fortifying their holdings in the east as well. So, the Stormfists have you trapped. That's Nord tactics for you. You can't win battles just by swinging your axe and yelling at the top of your lungs. I would suggest you keep your jabs in check, Dark Elf. At least we don't hide behind the skirts of a supposed god woman. You dare insult my lady Alma Lexia? I would have your head on a pot. Will you two stop it? You whine more than my egg brother, and he's newly hatched. We need to work together. You will not tell me what to do, scaly one. I am the Prince of Skyrim. Stop it, all of you. This is the kind of behavior that got us into this mess in the first place. We need to work together to figure things out. Together! <laughs> Greetings, stranger. It looks like you have something for me. I have a dispatch from Fort Morvenskar. Then by all means, let me have it. <laughs> Excellent. The fort is back under our control, thanks to you. You've made quite a name for yourself amongst our soldiers, friend. Lieutenant Koruni in particular seems suitably impressed with your efforts. Okay. Now I need to find the alchemist, wherever that is. Okay, so the alchemist is over here. Kill a couple of birds with one stone, that's what I say. Yes, what do you want? Yeoman from Lost Knife sent me. They dug up some something unusual. Unusual? How unusual? Is it stone, metal, crystal? The suspense is killing me. Actually, no. The suspense is rather mild. And I'm already bored. People always want me to examine this or study that. Like I don't have enough to do. It's mysterious. Glowing metal. It attracts trolls. Trolls. Attracts trolls. Well, let me see it then. This might be more interesting than I originally thought. Do you know what it is? Don't rush me. Better yet, make yourself useful. Bring me the Varla Stone Tincture from over there, and be careful with it. It is rare, and rather unstable. Okay. Come on. Alchemy. It's not for the faint of heart. Here's the Varla Stone tinc Tincture you asked for. I told you it was unstable. I'm sure the feeling will return to your fingers eventually. I need one more thing. Oval's study of metallurgic anomalies. I was reading it by the river while I was getting some sun. I think I left it out. Analysis. Okay, fine. And where is it exactly? Okay. Six. Sometimes. Purified frost salt and see what happens. 
Savage. That was exciting. Are you all right? Hardly a scratch. I still don't have any idea what to make of this ore, but the residual dust could be useful. I'll go up to the mine and talk to Yeomond. I need more samples. This dust may be valuable, even if I don't fully understand it yet. Right. All right. I told you that we need to be patient. You're always in such a hurry. It's starting to get on my nerves. You're enjoying that body too much, I think. Why, I have a mind to... Hmm... Hmm, can I help you with something? The Fort Amul guard barracks are off limits, so I hope you don't plan on trying to get inside. I need to talk to Commander Yarn about one of his guards. The commander is occupied by other matters at the moment. As one of the officials helping coordinate efforts at Fort Amol, perhaps I could be of service? I'm looking for guard Thawd. He was last seen with the commander. Ah, yes, Thawd. Of course. He was just here, as a matter of fact. You just missed him. You weren't the one looking for him earlier by chance. Eon mentioned someone looking into guard business. Not many folks care about Thawd. The commander and I had an arrangement. Well, how about I help you instead? Eon has been on edge of late. Perhaps the king's presence makes him nervous. Or it's all these foreigners. Who knows? But he has been acting strange. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. Why are you telling me this? You seem eager to help, so I'm giving you something to do. If I toss around false accusations or involve the King's guards, it might seem like Fort Amol can't deal with its own problems. Trail the commander. Determine if my fears are justified. Hide behind the rocks nearby and wait for Eon. You wouldn't want him to know you were following him now, would you? Don't insult my intelligence. I know we only get one chance at this. Besides, word from the inside is that things are going well. Good. Good. Have we met? Too late. You'll never stop Field Gore's plans. I'm afraid you just missed Commander Eon. Again. He was in a hurry. He always seems to run when everyone else around here just saunters. Eorn is dead. The man you saw is an imposter. Have you been drinking with Thane Yegi and the soldiers? No. Eorn's body is in Marla's house, along with Marla, uh, and, well, Marla and some others. What? A 
all of this in Marla's house? You have to understand how strange this sounds. You're telling me that the commander I was just speaking to is actually dead? And there are others? Including two dead Marlas? Buildcore spies are, have infiltrated the fort. After that story, I think I might be the one who needs a drink. Well, thanks for the information. I'll make sure to look into these accusations as soon as I can. But you're not going to give up on this, are you? Nope. Listen, let's say I believe you. Let's say there are Stonefist agents impersonating people in both armor. Even if all of this is true, we can't start a panic. The leaders of the Pact are here for kind's sake. So you just want me to let people die? No, 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 I didn't say that. I just don't want you running around crying murder, especially with the Pact delegations here. Think of how fragile our alliance already is. You should speak to Lord Velop. Tell him what you told me. What will talking to Lord Velop accomplish? He's the Jarl's advisor. He has his hand in everything that happens around here. Tell him what you told me. Leave nothing out. Velop, smart. If what you say is true, and by kind, I hope it isn't, he'll know what to do without Where, causing a panic. Where can I find him? You'll probably find Lord Velop in the inn. Like most Nords, he enjoys his mead. And I understand that nobles can get particularly thirsty when the king is in town. So, was the hunt successful? Did you find out what nefariousness our good commander Eon is up to? For treason and murder for star. What? No, I never imagined. I think you better tell me what happened, friend, and start at the beginning. Stormfist spies, they repl they, they've replaced Eon and killed people, including Dark Elves. Lower your voice. This can't be. How could Fildgore's soldiers get into the fort without being noticed? Uh, Did you? you? Else about this? Only gar gar guard he only or, or however you pronounce her name. She's going to look into it. I'll need to have a word with Lonor. The implications Lonor. for the fact are horrifying. Dark elves and Nords have died. Finger pointing will escalate into violence as soon as word gets out. How can I help? Especially go to the Nord camp and speak with Thane Harvald. He's honorable and intelligent. I'm sure he'll want to keep this quiet. He also possesses common sense. If anyone knows how we should approach this problem, it's Thane Harvald. Okay. Nor don't need the help of the weakling Argonians and the cowardly Dark Elves. We can win this war on our own. Your uncle Filgor has allied himself with the Stormfist clan and the Orcs, my prince. We need all the help we can get. You need to apologize to the delegates and get them back to the table before this rift grows any Let wider. The pact shatter and fall for all I care. We need no one but ourselves. You grow old and weak, Harvold, like my father. This conversation is over. The prince in his hot temper. He decided to hold his own meeting while the king and the pact ambassadors meet at the keep. He managed to insult both the Dark Elves and the Argonians with his posturing and boastfulness. Lord Volop sent me to discuss an urgent matter with you, discreetly. Talk freely. Thane Oda is as trustworthy as I. But understand that I have enough trouble as it is, and I don't need any more bad news. Then you won't like what I have to say. Figure out how to calm the prince and get the packed delegates back to the meeting. Fildgore's spies have infiltrated Fort Amal and killed a handful of Nords and Dark Elves. And that's not what I wanted to hear. Like I said, you wouldn't like what I said. The prince will have to be told about this, of course. The Argonian and Dark Elf delegates. 
They need to be able to protect themselves. Lord Verlop doesn't want the prince to know. I can't keep secrets from my prince, no matter how hot-headed he may be. I'll make him understand the seriousness of the situation. But I doubt the Argonians and Dark Elves will listen. They were very angry when they marched back to their camps. Maybe I can help. Perhaps. If you say that King Yoran sent you, they might not forgive the prince and return immediately, but they might listen to you. They need to know that we value the pact and their companionship. Do whatever it takes to make them happy. What did the prince do to anger the Argonians and Dark Elves? What does he always do? He opened his mouth and let words fall out. He said many terrible things and drove them away. And all his father asked him to do was coordinate troop movements and battle plans while the Council of War was in session. Whatever may I assist you with? Perhaps you need your pillow fluffed, or maybe you need me to cut up your food for you. Wait, I know you. From Desham. Don't say a word. No one must know who or what I am. Why are you just like a servant? I thought you were an agent with the... Shh, no one needs to know that. Veron gave me my first solo contract. It's a special one. Target's around here somewhere, but... I haven't pinpointed where just yet, so I'm in disguise. Not my first choice of garb, but it works. Can you help me? I'm trying to convince Gelds to work with the prince. Geld is an idiot, and the prince is, well, he's a royal idiot. Bringing those two together might hurt more than help with any problems you have here. But since you asked so nicely, I can help. Might even get me closer to my goal. What can you do? I can be rather convincing when I need to be, especially in this attire. The Jarl keeps some of his best wine locked away in the barracks. Snag a couple of bottles for me. Just be careful in there. The guards don't like visitors. Any tips on how on getting in there? You know, as an, you know, as advice for a friend. Well, I hate to hide such good looks. You're going to need a disguise, a guard uniform. I saw one of those idiots splashing around in the river not too long ago. If he's still there, you might be able to borrow his armor. Any tips once I'm in there? You know, as advice for a friend. For a friend, anything. One of the guards hates cats. Earlier I saw a cat run into the building. The guard chased it for an hour. Bring a cat with you. It might prove useful. I saw a bunch of them following the Argonians around. Try over there. Okay. Is this on straight? Comrade, a word. I think I figured out why cats like us so much. It's because we are so beautiful and we smell good. Mm. King Yorick needs you to return to the Prince in Ernst Gar's meeting. Excuse me, but who are you? And why is King Yorin requesting any help from us? The Prince made it very clear that he thinks very little of my Eggkin and I. Why we even bothered coming here is beyond me. There must be some way I can convince you to return to the Prince. The Prince cares nothing for us. He refused to send any help to my kin in Darkwater Crossing. The trolls wander the town now, and only the Hiss knows what happened to my people. I offer the same thing to you as the prince offered to me. Nothing. This is for King Yorin, not Prince Ernskar. King Yorin is a good man, strong and wise. I hear he hates cats. Mm. He gave shelter to my people when they fled from the Storm Thiss and their orc allies. But that doesn't change the current situation. And Prince Ernskar is still a Gwarlicker. I'll help your people if you agree to return to Prin er Prince Ernskar's meeting. It's too late to help Darkwater, but not to reclaim our honor. A deal then. If you remove the head of the large troll we call Death in Winter and bring it to me, I will consider returning to Ernskar's meeting for the king. All right. 
Dunmer wine. Collect Dunmer wine. Okay. What are you doing in here? Get out! Damn it. Not another cat. I hate cats. They make me itch. Name was that. Come on. Yay. The guild has need of you. Of course it does. Do you know what that sweat had me fetch while you were gone? Food from the other tent, as if walking ten feet would kill him. I got the food, though. Added a special berry, too. His stomach would appreciate it. Here's the wine you wanted. I knew I could count on you. Reliability is an admirable trait. This will taste good. Probably make taking orders from that barking dog over there a bit more tolerable. And it should be enough to get the job done. What job? To get Gelds nice and comfortable. Then I'll convince him that what he just drank was poisoned. Lucky for him, I have the antidote. Of course, he'll do whatever I want to get it, and that should be very entertaining. That's how you're going to convince him to return to the meeting? Of course. How did you think I was going to convince him? Now, do me a favor and stay alert out there. I've seen enough shadows and sheepish grins to know that something isn't right in Fort Earl. Just in time. My glass is empty. All right, so I need to go to Dark Order Crossing. Your timing is impeccable. Is it though?
There's an urgent task for you. What's that smell? It's awful. Here's the head of death in winter. My people came to Fort Amo from the west, but the town wasn't big enough to absorb them. They settled at Darkwater Crossing. Then the trolls came. You have done what that arrogant prince would not do. Thank you. With death and winter gone, maybe the survivors can take back the town? Perhaps. That is for them to decide. But at least they have that choice. Like King Yorin, you demonstrate honor. I will return to the prince's meeting and hear what he has to say. You have earned that much. What kind of monster orders our hatchlings murdered? I spit in Queen Hanlin's eye. I heard that you've been hard at work. A powerful troll for the Argonians? Really? That's quite remarkable. Convince the Dark Elves and Argonians to return to the Prince's meeting. And I spoke to Prince Ernskar. He agrees that he might have been a little arrogant. Especially when I told him what you discovered. Maybe now we can all get back to the business at hand, instead of just throwing insults at each other. With the pact working together again, we should be able to sniff out Filgor's spies easily enough. Now my only concern is for the king. He surrounded himself with our strongest warriors. But the element of surprise gives Fieldgore an advantage. You believe the king is in danger. After what you said the Stormfists have already accomplished, how can we trust anyone on the other side of the Keep's Gate? I know King Yoran requested privacy for this meeting with the ambassadors. But I can't just assume everything is all right. So you're going to send me, send more soldiers up to the keep? Actually, Lord Verlop suggested that you two take care of it. I need to keep the prince in line, and we don't want to tip our hand to the storm fists. Besides, I know you can handle yourself. The gates have been sealed since we arrived, but Lord Verlop should be able to open them. King Yoran was adamant that no one disturb the meeting. I imagine that whatever they are discussing in there, Fieldgore is definitely at the heart of it. Shouldn't we send more troops to protect the king? King Yoran is guarded by a squad of soldiers he selected personally. I'm sure everything is fine. Still, we can't be too careful. But I don't want to embarrass the king needlessly. You and Lord Ver... I don't trust him. No, I know I don't trust him. As he... he is the traitor. Bum 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 bum. That's strange. Where are the guards? Oh, that's right. They're dead. Just like you're about to be. You know, you were a real pain in my side. I sent you after Ion and Mara, but somehow you survived. Then I sent you to sabotage the prince, but instead you brought the pact together. Well, if you want something done, you just have to do it yourself. Move or call out and lose your tongue. Simple, Wait, right? Wait, don't kill me. I... I can help you. You're on still alive. You need me. No one likes a liar, Nord. No one. Let's talk, hero. What? Told you something bad was gonna happen. I didn't want you to walk into this trap alone, so I followed you. Good thing, too. Do you know what's going on in, on here? I've been tracking a Breton illusionist by the name of Dolin for a while now. The villain created quite a stir by assassinating a few nobles in Mournhold recently. I discovered that he took a contract with Fieldgore and tracked him to this region. Do you know where he is now? Not exactly, but I'd wager he's inside the keep. I'm not sure what we'll find in there, but you'll need to be quick. Dalin's already a step ahead of us. The man bought Verlop with a promise of gold. Who knows who else he's got on his side? Are you coming with me? 
I need to make sure our alliance friends are playing nice with each other. Then I'll meet up with you. After I get out of this damn dress and into some proper clothing, how do women wear stuff like this all the time? It looks good on you. I... Well, thanks. Maybe I could get used to wearing such finery when things aren't so dangerous. <laughs> what am I saying? Get your ass in there and save King Yorin! Uh, I love it. Hold on, I'm messing around with my headset. Um, Idiot, we're surrounded by the enemy. The big bad storm fists are outside. Maybe we should go upstairs so I can protect you all proper like. People really frustrate me sometimes. Maybe we should go upstairs so I can protect you. Who even says that? He could have complimented my eyes or my. Never mind. He's one of Dolan's thugs. No sign of the king, though. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. How did you get in here? Windows are wonderful things, my darling. No one ever remembers to lock them. I'm sure you've crawled into or out of more than a few windows over the course of your adventures. Where can I find a few? Uh, okay, where can I find King Yorin? I found two doors in here, but they're both locked tight. I'm sure the king is behind one of those doors. We just need to figure out how to open them. I'll take a look around. I don't think you'll just find a key lying around. But you never know. I'll check down here. Take a look upstairs and see if you can find it. All right. Lifeless eyes gaze on dueling swords. One who breathes but no longer lives. The other an ancient relic from a distant land. In the stonework of the ancients, the one that has not known life opens the way to salvation and silence. So you have finally come to the aid of the king. You shall be greatly rewarded for your efforts at Fort Amal, my servant. It pleases me to hear that the al alchemical elixirs you discovered in the Daedric ruins have proven to be so useful. Who would have imagined an elixir that allows you to steal the form of anyone who drinks it? Remarkable. And the other poison and the other potion 
poison. Make sure that my dear brother gets a full dose of the deadly liquid. No one deserves such such a fate more than my beloved con conniving, cheating, too smart for his own good brother Yorin. When everything has been dealt with, meet me at Skaldofen. We have one last thing to deal with before I can reclaim my kingdom. Field Gorok thing. Thank you for all your hard work here in Fort Armory. I can't say that Warlock was as useful as I hoped, but he served his purpose, right? I mean, just look at me, stunning, am I not? A Breton leading the Nords. Who would have thought of it? Where is the real King Yorin? For all intent and purposes, I am the real king now. Any who would challenge that are being dealt with. But I wanted to congratulate you. So many lives lost because of you. I'm envious that poor guard Floanor, greedy Lord Verlop, the mind reels. You killed her. <laughs> Verlop did say that he would take care of her, didn't he? My poor Verlop was many things, but a liar wasn't one of them. Then there's that pretty little dark elf outside. The feisty one. She'll be a fun one to kill. And of course, King Yoran. What about King Yoran? He's enjoying a gift from Filgoron. The king that saved his people from the Akaviri, killed by his own brother. Yet, no one will ever know. No, they will find the body of poor Dalin the Briton, defeated by their heroic king. Oh, that would be me. You think you can take King Yorin's place? Well, yes. That's the entire point of why we're here. Now I must apologize. I have matters to attend to. You'll find that my guards now control the manor. You can try to stop us, but I doubt you'll have very much Okay. Darlin said you were coming after us. Let's see how you handle two of the best warriors of the Stormfist Brigade. Too little, too late. The false king is dead. Once you join him, Filgor will rule this land. Hello. King Yorin's breathing is shallow. The poison Dalin used, it's tainted. Daedric, I'm not sure what it's doing to this poor man, but I don't think he will survive. What happened in here? The illusionist fooled us all. His magic allowed the Stormfist to look like people we trusted. Something in the wine we shared, we think. One of them took the form of the king's servant. He poisoned the king's dinner. Okay. 
How do we get in there? Fighting broke out as soon as King Yorin fell ill. We dragged him away from the meeting and locked ourselves in here. When the storm fist broke in, I thought we were finished. If that woman hadn't shown up, we'd probably be dead right now. What woman? She never identified herself. When the storm fist broke in, she just appeared out of nowhere and put two daggers in their backs. Then she told us help was coming, and she ran off. She wore a helmet, but I'm pretty sure she was a dark elf. Stay here. I'll help. I'll, I'll get help for the king. We should be fine, and we're not helpless. We can protect the king. But please hurry just the same. I don't know how long he can resist the poison. I figured it'd be up here. Another contract completed by, well, you again. I wonder if the Tong is testing me or something. Still, a success is a success, right? I hope I didn't scare the ambassadors too badly. So it was you who saved the ambassadors. When you entered the safe room, I heard the ambassadors trying to be quiet upstairs. Next thing I know, Stormfist thugs are waving their axes around and attacking the manor. I was about to leave the same way I entered. But you decided to be a hero. Well, I couldn't let you have all the fun. Seriously, you have to understand. My organization used to be respected. Now we're hunted for what we were, what we represented. That has to change. You told them you were getting help. I was talking about you, but I also figured more backup wouldn't hurt. Ernskar and his guards are downstairs. They rushed over as soon as the fighting started. But King Yorin, he didn't look so good. He's not going to make it, is he? I don't know. It's Daedric Poison. Fildegore plays dirty. I wish I could help more, but I've already overstepped the limits of my contract. I need to get back to Mournhold. A new matter involving a rival group has become an issue. These people still need your help, hero. If you ever need me. Always the hero, aren't you? I'm kidding. I'll find you again when I need your help. In fact, I'd like that. Now go. Save King Yorin. He needs you more than I do at the moment. Where is my father? What did our so-called allies do to him? I'll kill every single Argonian and Dark Elf myself if my father's been harmed. It wasn't the Argonians or, or the Dark Elves. It was Fildgore Orkthain. Fildgore might have driven the blade, but the Dark Elves and Argonians did nothing to protect my father. Now where is he? Tell me! Uh, upstairs, a Dark Elf and Argonian are protecting him. Guards, go to the king at once. As for you, what's your involvement in all this? Why are you here? Vildor, Vild, Fildgore's agents tried to kill me, too. Then we are allies, for now. I must go to my father. I don't care how we do it, but his life must be saved. My father can't die. Fildgore will not win this war. Not this way. I forbid it. There must be something we... The Stormfists have been dealt with, and the duplicates rounded up. But whatever poison attacks the king grows worse with each passing hour. We can't help him without more information. The Argonian ambassador said the po poison was Daedric. Now our enemies stoop so low as to ally themselves with Daedra. The poison will kill the king before we can get him to the healers in Windhelm. And no one here can cure our poison like this. We need to ask the Turnian monks for help. The Turnian monks. An old cult worshipped totem gods. Call them monks or witches as you will, but... They wield strong healing magic. Their rituals are complex, and those who seek their help must bring their own ritual components. I'll help. What do I need to do? The poison weakens the king. We need a substance to bolster his life force. The Turnian monks also require a focus. An object or even a person. Something or someone that possesses a rare power can serve this function. What will boast the king's life force? The blood of a vampire gives strength and vitality, even to those on death's door. Whatever runs through their veins serves to enhance their life force. The tiniest amount should suffice to get the king through the ritual. Where do I get vampire's blood? The hot springs to the north. Rumors suggest the place is haunted by the undead. Witchestada, they call it. Let's hope the rumors are true. Of course, 
You'll also need to get one of them to give you its blood. What can we use as a focus? The Argonians joked about one of their own during the feast. They called him the Dreamwalker. He watches over the dreams of the people of Darkwater Crossing. Yes, the same place where the trolls now run rampant. We know he survived. The spirits assure me that this Dreamwalker still lives. He is essential to saving King Yorin. Where he... I am connected to the spirits of this world. Specifically, I have a bond with the spirit of the wolf. This bond has existed my entire life, even when I was a small child. When the spirits called to me, I left my home to seek them out. What did you find? I found the Tunyan monks. A cult, some would call them, but they heard the spirits just as I did. They took me in, trained me to listen to the call of the wild, to hone my skills, to be one with nature. And why didn't you stay with them? I was young, and I missed my family. My responsibility to my bloodline finally called me back to Windhelm. I left the people I grew to love in the middle of the night. And never the blood of a vampire. His body is shutting down. This blood will work as a countering agent. To All right. If you ever need assistance, you need only to ask. I owe you the largest of favors, as do my people. I need your help. Of course. A favor was promised, and a favor you shall receive. What do you ask of me? King Yorin is under poison. I need your help. Poison? Poison is more dangerous than physical wounds. Some of these vile substances cause dreams to collapse. No matter. A promise is a promise. Where is the king? With, with the Turnian monks. The Turnian monks? I have heard many things about them. Many interesting abilities are attributed to these monks. Now I'm eager to visit the Turnians. I'll meet you there. Uh -huh. Can't thank you enough. My father was evil. He abused the gifts we've been given. With him gone, we have a chance to live peacefully. Well, as peacefully as our kind can. I need your help. You've done a great thing, ridding this world of my father. Speak. Tell me your desire, and I shall make it so. I need a vial of your blood to save King Euron. My blood? Do you intend to turn the Scald King into one of us? Why would you help us stop my father just to create another vampire? I don't want to turn him into a vampire. I just need to bolster his life force. You have earned my trust, friend. Therefore, I must believe you speak the truth. Take it. Save the king. But don't make me regret giving this to you. Oh, trust me, dude. It won't be a <laughs> Why would I want to turn the king into a vampire? 
That's madness, friend. Madness, I say. Like, what can I be gained from doing that? I'm not even a vampire myself. Rude. Get to the road. Excuse me? What? Come to avenge your friend. I mean, maybe. The spirits told me you were close. I spoke to the Turnian monks. They admitted the king and the prince, but not me. I left the fold. They remember that, but they will help the king. What now? The Dreamwalker is already inside. Let the monks know you bring the ritual components. I must be off. Filgor is on the run and we're closing in. Now go, save the king so he can lead us to victory. Outsiders are not well. Please, outsider, leave us be. The Turnian monks want no part in the war that rages across this land. You're in the Skald King was brought here. I need to see him. Your king has fallen into a deep eternal sleep. You cannot aid him. His fate depends on the favor of the three old gods now. Are you saying the King Yorin is dead? Oh, not dead. At least not yet. But his soul struggles as his dreams turn to poison. They tear at him, pull him deeper into the darkness. One calling himself Dreamwalker claims he can enter his nightmare. With our magic, he says your king can be saved. I need to see the Dreamwalker. Speak with Yadvar inside the cave, but don't get your hopes up. If the three old gods require your help, that's between you, them, and the Turnian elders. You come to support the slumbering king. When last I saw him, his skin was pale and his breathing shallow. His life force slowly drains away. It would take a miracle or a favor from the three old gods to save him now. I can save the king. When he isn't asking inane questions, the Dreamwalker makes the same claim. So many questions. He actually believes we turn into bugs and fly. <coughs> With your king's life hanging in the balance, I hope you haven't put your trust in the wrong place. I trust him. He saved the lives of many of his people. As you say. Before your friend can enter the eternal slumber, we need to enhance the king's life force. Bring him back from the brink of death long enough for the Dreamwalker to slip inside. Otherwise, the journey will kill them both. I collected the blood of a vampire. Horrible creatures, but their blood has its uses. I'll open the gate to our ritual grounds. Please don't disturb the monks who pray there. Your king sleeps on the center platform where our high priest administers to him. Why does my father still sleep, priest? Our healing magic maintains his life, but the Daedric poison is strong. I'm not sure we can overcome it. If my father dies, the Turnian monks will suffer. Understand that, healer. Now save your king. 
King Yorin's son is worried, and I don't blame him. Our healing magic is strong, but it's not much good against Daedra corrupted poison. The king won't awaken on his own. I brought a dreamwalker to help. So my monks tell me. We don't usually deal with Daedric magic. We can keep King Yorin alive, but we can't restore him. Your dreamwalker is our best chance. I hope he's done this before. We. what can I do to help? You brought what we need. Now the Dreamwalker must enter the Dreamstride. From there, he's on his own. My magic can't help him. Pray at the totems of the three old gods. Perhaps they will show you the Dreamwalker's progress. Then we watch and wait. All right. Come, Dreamwalker. King Yorin is ready. It is time for you to get involved. Not to worry. I've done this many times. Many times. Never entered a king's dreams, though. Or battle Daedric magic. Hmm. But I'm sure everything will be just fine. Be sure to hold the king down. If he begins to thrash around, hit him with a rock. Kidding. Kidding. The Dreamwalker's work has begun. If you wish to observe his progress, pray to our totem spirits. If the three old gods hear you, they will show you images of the dream stride. I'm gonna do them. Box. Very cold. Must be quick as possible. Find the fires. Their warmth will keep you alive. Walls. Coming down. Stay near the light. Must remember. Stay near the light. this madness visions of warriors lost a woman beckoning to me strange beautiful but something's wrong here i need to be very careful wish there was a way to figure out the truth all right so i need the fox first the wolf second or is it the fox very sad the king's soldiers, they fell in battle, but are raised in a dream. Rage fills them, and they are strong. Wish I had the strength to fight them. This is going to be a challenge, to say the least. What is this sorcery, priest? What's happening to my father? The dream. It's leaving the king's body. How... how is this happening? The three old gods watch over this man and grant him a quick, painless journey from this place. What's happening? Something has sparked the Dreamwalker's magic as well as our own. Whatever haunts King Yorin begins to flow into this world as well. As the poison spreads through his body, he fights back harder. It's pushing the forces into our own plane. What does that mean? It means your king's last moments of life are upon him. His spirit is strong, a fighter. I believe that's what has caused these projections. He won't give in to death. Sadly, we can do nothing to help him from out here. We can't give up. The Dreamwalker was most likely injured by the blast of magic. He was the last chance we had. Your king can't do this on his own. Can you send me into the dream? You would do this? And for a man you barely know? Your life could be forfeited by doing this. Very well. The decision is yours. I can use what remains of the Dreamwalker's magic to send you into the Dreamstride. From there, you will be on your own. I can't imagine what awaits you in the dreams of King Yorin. His dreams turn to nightmares. What once was pleasant is now twisted and dark. You must help him overcome these trials. What do I need to do? 
Pray to the three old gods. Seek their blessings and call upon their aspects to aid you. They might help you, but each in a different way. Remember what the Dreamwalker said and be open to any way an aspect may aid you. How will I, how will I know which aspect to choose? I can give you insight to each of our gods before you enter King Yorin's dreams. That's about all I can do from here. Once you enter the dream, you will be on your own. I'll attempt to keep his life force stable for as long as I can. I understand. The poison pulls from Yorin's memories and gives strength to his greatest fears. The death of his sister, the soldiers in his service, and Fildgore. His dreams have created guardians to hide his true memories. You must show him the truth of things. Our magic allows us to call forth aspects of the three old gods, the fox, the bear, and the wolf. Spirit forms to help us perform tasks beyond the scope of mere mortals. The fox is crafty and quick. He enhances the speed at which we do things, makes us faster, more agile than we are. The thought that Yorin failed his soldier. I'm trying to decide which one goes first. I think it's either... I was right. <laughs> All right. And then the wolf is next. No, it's not. Damn it. Look at your soul. Locked away in some crypt by compass. No one cares. We were just palms for you. No, I respected and cared for each of you. With each of your deaths, I lost brothers and sisters. But we fought for what we all believed in. We fought for our freedom. See ya. Listen to them. Listen to their wailing cries. They died because of you. You threw their lives away. Now you are paying for it. No, 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 I'm not dying here. You need to. Whatever's happening to me, it is not go. King Yorin stirs in agony before he calms and grows still. These waves repeat even as you enter his dreams. His life continues to slip away. What did you discover? 
King Yorick knows something is wrong. He's trying to escape, but he doesn't know how. The poison polluting his body. It makes him reimagine his fears and lets the nightmares tighten their grip. He will continue to seek a way out as long as the dream continues. You must follow the king deeper still. All right, how do I follow the king? Continue to pray to the totems. You already set one of the fractured parts of his spirit free. You need to be quick this time. If the king knows he's in danger, the dream will collapse behind him and strengthen the nightmare's power. Why do you continue to follow me? The Argonian that followed me couldn't handle the ordeal. You want fair and better. Leave now before it's too late. Too many have already died on my behalf. I must handle this on my own. You've been poisoned. The Argonian was trying to heal you. Heal me? Through my own mind? You would use Daedric magic to cure me? That's the very magic that harmed me. You don't need to do this. I fought an army that claimed to be invincible and emerged victorious. Phil Gore's poison won't stop me. Let me help you. Do you even know where we are right now? This cave, my sister and I fell down a hole while we were hunting. We nearly froze to death. We barely got out alive. Wait. What is it? I would not have made it out from this cave if it wasn't for my sister. I blacked out from exhaustion and the cold. Nurnhild carried me the rest of the way to safety. Damn it all. I don't know how we got out of this cave. What does that mean? It means I never saw the exit. How will I find it in my dreams? The fires, I remember the fires. They must be the key. If I don't survive, you must get word to Almalexia and the other pact leaders. The pact must not fall. Well, this turned out to be an interesting hunt. So much for knowing the area like the back of the hand. Right, sister? Yes, yes, go ahead. Mock me, little brother. I shall just leave you in this cave. Maybe you'll lose a foot to the frost, and the people will call you the Gimp Prince. That would be the last time you mocked me, that's for sure. Oh, I think I would write a ballad about how an ice demon and I dueled upon the mountaintops, and I drove my blade into him as he took my foot. All the ladies would find me heroic. Maybe I should let my foot fall off. This sounds like something you do. You're the only man I've ever known to write an epic about how you fell down and broke your nose. Did that Nord lass you brought home really believe that story about you and the troll? to the bone. I think I'm starting to lose the feeling in my legs. I hate when that happens. You sure do whine a lot, you know that? We'll find a way out of here. Stop worrying so much. Oh, I forgot. There's no need to worry. The great and wonderful Nernhild is here. You hush now, brother. Filgor showed me how to find my way out of a cave. Or any closed area, really. You just need to find the wind. Once you do that, you can figure out where it's coming from. And that's the way out. Simple. Come on, Yorin. 
We have to keep moving. We're almost there. I can feel it. Please, Donna. It's just a little bit farther. You have to hold on. I... I need you. I can't become queen without my brothers at my side. I just can't do it. Stay with me, brother. Wake up! Fucking ice race. I will honor her memory by living my life. King Yorin's breathing slows. I don't know if this is due to your actions or if he slips closer to death. Did you learn anything new? The king knows he, he's in his own mind, but he won't give up. Proud, stubborn man. Yorin's at his weakest points now, on the edge of life and death. You have only one more chance to enter the dream stride. One more chance to break the nightmare and set him free. If you fail, you will both be lost. All right. The king's dreams try to... So I'm going for the bear. And this is why, 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 why he's closer to death. Are you real or just part of this dream? Ouch. I hurt all over. Feels like my body is being crushed. And not in a fun way. Why have you followed me? This experience, I wouldn't recommend it to my worst enemy. You're alive. What happened? Of course I'm alive. The magic that allowed you to enter the dream stride would have disappeared if I died. Frightening thought, though, to die in another's dream. I'll consider this while you find the king. Where is king? Where is King Yorn? He followed a pretty young woman. She looked familiar, but I couldn't place her. She ran up the steps and the king was right behind her. But something strange happened. Spectres appeared. Very vicious. I'll find him and get us out of here. Be careful. These spirits are more violent and powerful than the others in the dream. Drawn from the king's strongest memories. If you fail, we all die horrible, horrible deaths. Move now! For this, Joram never lifted a sword in his life. My sister, Nernhild, she was a true warrior. I know you so can fight too. That's a man I died for. No, we get a bard king, he won't survive a year. I wager. Give into your dreams, 
submit to the darkness. Never. I will wake from this dream. I will find my brother and any others who put up people at risk. They will all fall to my blade. This I swear. upon her throne. My brother and I would tease her endlessly about being the queen. My people trusted my sister, loved her. Great Queen Nurnhild, they called her, leader of the Nords. Then the Akaviri attacked. The people lost their queen, and I lost my sister. The realm wept the day she died. The Argonian said you chased a woman up here. It was a trick conjured by that creature you killed. Nurnhild is dead. Her beautiful soul is gone. I'm all that's left to lead my people. I cannot fail them. What are you feeling? Different. Strange. Like a part of me is missing. No guards, no castle walls, just the limits of my own mind. Fabrications and illusions. Perhaps that's all you are. I am real. I came here with the Argonian to save you. Your face is familiar, but I can't remember. You have my thanks regardless, both you and the Argonian. I need to get you out of here. I know there is so much to do, and I cannot allow my brother Filgor to complete his plan. Not while he has a sister's body and her crown. Nothing good will come from his machinations. Sister, this can't be. This must be part of my dream. Joran, my beloved brother. It's been so long. I wish the news I bring you wasn't so dire. What is it, Nurnhild? What's wrong? It's Fildgor. I know why our brother stole my body and the crown. He plans to call forth my spirit and merge it with his own. He believes that by possessing me, he shall become the rightful king. Please, friend, leave us so we can talk. I will join you in the waking world shortly. I can never repay you for all you've done. I should throw a grand feast and make you part of my personal guard. But there's still dangers to deal with. Filgor plans to desecrate my sister's spirit. That must not be allowed to happen. Why is Filgor doing this? The crown of Freydis. The symbol of our people can only be worn by the true heir of the throne. It won't fit upon an unworthy head. Filgo believes that he can merge our sister spirit with his own, making him worthy of the crown. If that works. If the crown fits, it proclaims Filgor as the true king. Not even I can oppose the one who wears the crown. That's why Filgor must be stopped. He can't be allowed to desecrate Nurnhild's spirit. But he's now. Filgor and his Stormfist Brigade have gone to the Dragon Shrine of Skuldafin. The Prince and I must go to the camps at the foot of the mountain and plan our counter move. I need to leave now. The people need their king. I can open a postal for Hello, friend. We're still alive. I never would have guessed that would be the result of all this. Now I need some rest. To study the Turnian monks and the three old gods. Fascinating stuff. And truth to tell, I don't want to go into any more dreams for a while. Uh, have you recovered from the dream stride? More or less. Thanks to my training and experience, I was taught to learn, to understand, to survive. The Scald King has discovered these things as well. A rare leader, Yorun. He's a ruler hmm. who listens. Where did King Yorun go? To rest and hold counsel with his advisors, no doubt. Thanes, 
Ebonheart pack leaders. Other nobles, I'm sure. There's a large camp to the northeast. The soldiers call it Yorun Stand. Not far from the place called Skaldafen. Oh, do you understand? Right. But first, I, I want to be... I want to... Um, get that lore book before I forget. Then I'll go to Yorin Stand. Might as well go to this delve, huh? I just want to get the, um... Is this? Okay. I'm missing a lore book? How am I missing a lore? Oh, that's right. There's some up here. Bye! I need to go. <clears throat>
Wait. Well met, champion. Is this your stand? It is, and your arrival is not unexpected. I've been waiting for you to arrive. Why were you expecting me? Prince Ernskar commanded me to keep watch. He wants to speak to you. He's on the battlements at the East Gate, watching the movements of Fildgore Orkthane's troops. Oh, I'm Prince Ernskar. Things are quiet here. For now. Is the Scald King here? Indeed. The soldiers call this place Joran's Stand. For King Joran is determined to stop the Orc Thane and restore peace to Eastmarch from this very encampment. Has the King Yor has King Joran just recovered from the poison? The assassination attempt hasn't hindered the Scald King's ability to command, if that's what you're asking. The dark elf healers tend to him, and he grows stronger every day. Are the pack leaders getting along with Prin Prince Ernst Gar? There's still some tension. The prince made accusations when the king was poisoned, and that certainly hasn't helped matters. To his credit, though, Prince Ernskar seeks to make amends for the strange relations. Alrighty. Well met, my friend. How is the Scald King doing? My father is still weak from the poison, but he's recovering. I'm organizing things here while he gets his strength back. I need to regain the confidence of our Dark Elf and Argonian allies. My regrettable actions at Fort Armel have made them wary. How can I help? Speak to the highest ranking pact leaders in the camp. General Yveth Noramil of the Dark Elves and the Argonian leader Eyes of Steel. See what we can do to demonstrate the strength of the pact. Way, Prince Ernskar. Yeah. Wars come and wars go, but the hist endures. Prince Ernskar asked me to speak to you. War approaches like a storm on the wind, and the prince needs our help. Why should I trust him or his champion? Perhaps some discourse will show me the measure of Ernskar's advocate. Does war make a person stronger? That depends on whether war is won or lost. An obvious answer. Another question. Which serves best in time of war? A strong will or a strong body? Without courage and commitment, a soldier is useless. A thoughtful response. I do worry that Prince Ernskar's insular thinking is dangerous and goes against the edicts that formed the pact. The prince has learned his, from his mistakes. He nearly lost his father. An interesting outlook. Learn by losing. I think the storm-faced commander, Hall Bitterblade, might learn by losing something as well. His head, for example. At least his troops would learn a lesson to fear the Ebonheart Pact. I'll bring you Bitterblade's head. Well, don't just stand there staring at me. I'm very busy. And I don't have time to play seven questions. Prince Earth, er, oh. Okay, dude. Prince Erzgar asked me to speak to you. Running errands for the princeling, are you? And I'm not your first. My aides tell me you went to see the lizard before coming to me. I suppose Ernskar wants to affirm his commitment to the pact. Wants to drink vile mead and discuss strategy. The prince made a mistake. Now he wants to re re reassure his allies. Talk means nothing. A blood contract, on the other hand, is binding. Use my dagger, Viper's Strike, on any storm fists you slay. The blood it absorbs powers its enchantment. Bring it back when the dagger is fully charged. Absorbs blood. To charge its enchantment. Yeah. Alright, fine. What? Okay, hold on. What quest am I missing?
very confused. Both team and his foreign allies can throw challenges at me as often as they want. I so enjoyed killing you. You so enjoy what now? I'm sorry, what now? A word. <laughs> ah, the brave and mysterious champion returns. Do you have something for me? I've defeated the Storm Fist Commander. And I see that you brought me his head. Bitterblade was a worthy foe. And your efforts on behalf of Prince Ernskar have improved my opinion of him considerably. I shall confer with the prince and offer my counsel as needed. Alert the heralds. Ernskar's errand runner has returned. I charged Viper Strike for you. So you have. I'd applaud, but killing a few Stormfists isn't really that significant of an accomplishment. However, your efforts on behalf of the Princeling prove that he does wish to make amends for his idiotic behavior at Fort Armel. It would help if you stopped calling him Princeling. <laughs> yes, true. But that's not as much fun. Oh, very well. I shall work with Prince Ernskar. He shall benefit from my considerable knowledge and expertise. You know what I think the other two quests are? The Mages Guild and Fighters Guild. I will do that once I get to the Rift. Well met, my friend. I've completed the tasks for the Argonian and Dark Elf leaders. I received word that General Yveth Noramil and Eyes of Steel will meet with me. I'll show them the respect they deserve and work to strengthen our alliance. Once again, your aid advances our cause. 
You have my gratitude. I need to discuss strategy with the Thanes and pact leaders. Anything else I can do? The Argonian and Dark Elf leaders are ready to meet. It's time to gather a council of war. Do you think you could convince the Thanes to attend as well? They're an independent lot, but their advice would be welcome. I can talk to the Thanes. Start with Thane Harvold. He's a close friend of my father's. If any of the Thanes can be counted on, it's Harvold. I'll go to talk to Thane Harvold. We'll meet in front of the Helis tent. I'm sure my father will feel well enough to join us. <laughs> I'm a little busy at the moment. Come back later. Prince Arsgar would like you to attend the War Council. Would he now? And I suppose I should just jump at his command? Why should I do that? He's demonstrated nothing but hard-headedness and brashness since before his father was poisoned. Prince Erzgar seeks your wisdom and advice. He's done being impulsive. I suppose for the sake of my friendship with Joran, I should give the prince a second chance. I'll meet with him. Have you talked to the other Thanes yet? Not yet. Then I suggest you seek out Oda Wolf's sister next. She's a fine woman, if a bit odd. Very fond of wolves. Good luck finding her, though. She's usually wandering around in the woods, communing with her beloved wolves. I'll seek out Oda Thane, uh, Thane Oda next. Not that you asked. But if you want my advice, talk to Oda's house call. Jema tries to keep track of her Thane, which isn't an easy task. Last I saw, she was up at the front gates looking for her master. Now go. We're in the money. We're in the money. My, you're a hardy one. I'm looking for Thane Oda Wool sister. And do you see her? She's not here. She's out there somewhere communing with her beloved wolves. How can I protect her when she runs off into the woods without so much as a buyer leave? She's a maddening woman. Ugh, maddening. I need to speak her to, uh, I need to speak to her on behalf of Prince Ernskar. Last I saw, she was east of the camp, communing with wolves. But she does have a connection to the creatures. I've never seen one so much as growl at her. Of course, you won't be so lucky. But if you kill any wolves, she won't be happy with you. Any suggestion to how I should approach this? Try eating a canis cap mushroom. It's supposed to mask your scent or something. Wolves won't attack you. Or so I hear. I just stay away from wolves. Or you can kill wolves until you find Thane Oda. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> if you want her help. Where can I find these mushrooms? Canis cap mushrooms tend to grow on logs. I think I saw some on the big log right outside this gate. Okay. I love coming out here and basking in all this nature. In Thane Oda, I've been looking for you. Have we met? Nope. Prince Arskar needs you for the council meeting. What is that delightful scent? Ah, <gasps> another admirer of wolf kind. You've eaten a canis cap. You have that wonderful musky scent of fur and dirt and grass and old meat. Mmm. It's certainly strong. We don't seem to be truly enjoying being one of the wolves. No accounting for taste, I suppose. In any case, you said the prince sent you. No doubt he wants me at this war council. Yes, Prince Erskar hopes you will attend the work at the council. I am pleased that he thought to send someone who respects my wolf kin. I'll attend the council. The lingering effect of the mushroom will keep you safe, but it wears off quickly. You should find Thane Yegi. If he's sober, he should attend. 
And he's just right here. Mead or milk? Are you a nod or a gnat? Prince Erskar sent me to talk to you. <laughs> my reputation precedes me. I may be half drunk most of the time, but my mind's still sharp. Prince Ernskar wants to meet with some of the thanes and the packed delegates. Am I right? Right. Of course I am, but spare me your assurances. The prince is a skeever. You know what will convince me to attend a boring war council? Mead. Specifically, some of Volyar's meadery's best vintages. Some crates recently arrived in camp. Who has the mead? I know who doesn't have it. Me. A crate was given to the Dark Elves, but they load the stuff. Ask their quartermaster. Bet they'll give it away, or, or just look for bottles lying around. I don't care where it comes from, as long as it's me. Alright. <clears throat> <laughs> Not one of my soldiers. Do you need something? Do you have any mead you'd be willing to part with? Mead? Disgustingly sweet stuff. Makes me long for Shane or a flask of Flynn. Those are proper beverages. You're right, it's disgusting stuff. Only fit for no Nords. Let me take it off your hands. I don't understand this powerful craving for mead. Where do the Nords put it? It doesn't seem to hinder their ability to swing their weapons, though. Here. I'm glad to get rid of Any luck acquiring some of that Volya mead? Here's the mead you asked for. Ah, this is the stuff. Drink with me to the Skull King's health. I, I mean, the Skull King. A Skull King would not be a good thing. I suppose one drink wouldn't, won't hurt. That's the Nord spirit. Sort of. Next time, though, try it like this. I suppose one drink isn't enough. <laughs> nice. I need some fortification if I'm going to attend the council. I'll head over after I drink this bottle. Nice. This is... He's over here. Field goers at Skuldarfen, with the crown of Freydis and the body of Queen Nernhild. For what purpose? The Orc Thane plans to use them at the Dragon Shrine to usurp my father's throne. A necromantic ritual, perhaps? Crown is a powerful artifact. I shudder to think what the Orc Thane can accomplish with it. I don't like the idea of that bastard using our fabled crown. And I hate that he has our beloved queen's body. Father, you honor us. I'm glad to see you up and around. My brother seeks to pull my sister's soul from Southern Guard. The crown of Freydis will see the soul, not the man. It's good to see you well, Joran. We've been discussing how to approach Skaldafn. Yes, yes. We discuss and we strategize while Fidgor digs in and strengthens his defenses. So, have we come to any conclusions? The storm fists have fortified the primary path to the Dragon Shrine. A frontal assault would take time that we may not have. Time is a luxury we don't possess. If Filgor completes this ritual, all is lost. That's why you wanted to see those scouting reports. You think there's another way into Skaldarfen? There is always another way, champion. May we speak? Well met, my courageous friend. The time of our victory is at hand. You wanted to speak to me. Yes, thank you for all you've done, but your skills are needed again. Our troops will begin the assault on Skaldafin, 
but we need a faster approach to reach Phil Gore. General Yaveth Noramil mentioned scouting reports. Yes, we have several of our best scouts searching the area. Thane Mira found something in the hills north of here. Those dragon shrines are rife with passages and secret entrances. And that's where I come in. Good. Make sure the way is clear for our assault. Speak to General Nora Mil. He's been coordinating our effort to scout the area for another way in. The Ebonheart Pact stands together to defeat the Orktain. Send for me. Over here, champion. If you need me, sire. The time has come to crush Fildgore and the Stormfist Brigade once and for all. Ignorant suggested I talk to you. Ah, yes, the scouting reports. He wants you to sneak into Skaldafin while we distract the bulk of the Orkthane's army. Skaldafin is special to the Nords. Joran always planned to hold the moot there. But then Fildgore moved in. Why did Fildgore take control of Skaldafin? We think Fildgore wants to use the Dragon Shrine to steal Queen Nernhild's soul and force the crown of Freydis to recognize him as the true ruler of Skyrim. Meet Scout Snowhunter to the north and east. He'll show you how to reach Skaldafin. I'll look for Scouts, uh, Scout Snowhunter. So we need to go over here. came from your stand? Did the general send you? General Nor Noramil sent me. Excellent. We're holding things down as best we can here, but we need to move quickly. I fear the usurper is close to achieving his goal. I'm glad you're here. We were worried we'd missed our opportunity. The other scouts report that Fildgore's flank is undefended. And how do we use that to our advantage? Go talk to Thane Mera. She led a small team up through this pass and into Skaldafin. We need to find a way to get the rest of his soldiers through the pass without drawing the attention of the Stormfists. Meet up for Thamera. Skaldafin is extremely defensible. It won't be easy to get our army up there. Still, Filgor the Exile won't wait for us to get into position. He has his own timetable to keep, I'm sure. Good luck up there. I understand, thanks. Snow and flame. Ooh, alchemy increased to level five. That's good. Well, stay low. The Stormfist don't know we're here yet, and I want to keep it that way. We're just going to hide? We're waiting for King Yorin and his troops to arrive, but Filgor has his own agenda. He's moving fast, and I don't think the army is going to show up in time. But I've got a few ideas on how to slow him down. What's your plan? Fire. Nothing causes more chaos than a raging fire. Scares even the most dim-witted, hard-headed Nords. The carts the Stormfist brought are full of weapons, food, and other gear. Set them ablaze and start a panic. That should slow them down a bit. Then what, sh then what should I do? Light the signal fire. That's the sign the king's troops are waiting for before they make their final push up the mountain. That said, I still don't think they'll make it in time. You need to reach Fildgore and slow him down. Good luck.
Um, I need to repair my gear because I think it needs it. Yeah, yeah. Sense Jorin's troops coming up the mountain, but they will be too late. I am sorry, but this all falls to you. You are the only one who can reach Vilgor in time. Where can I find Vilgor? Vilgor has forced his way into Sovngarde. He is close to accomplishing his goal. Soon he shall steal my essence and convince the crown of Freydis to accept him. Please, you must stop him. Vilgor opened a bridge between this world and Sovngarde. His royal blood grants him access to the hallowed halls of our ancestors, no matter what foul atrocities he has performed. Even now, he works his dark magic there, siphoning off. The Watcher at the bridge guards the entrance. I will speak on your behalf, and you shall be able to enter Sovngarde as my champion. When you reach the peak, step into the Column of Light. The rest is up to you. I'll enter Sovngarde and stop Fildgore. I need better armor.
for knocking me down. I will not be denied. The spirits of Sovereign God answer the call of the rightful king of Skyrim. I lose to my cursed brother again perhaps he is the better ruler regardless in front of my ancestors and my sister i am undone do what you will with me you surrender what choice do i have even with sovereign god's power to aid me i lost the crown of freydis rejects me the thorn in my side became my undoing you have won what will you do with me now Honestly, like, he caused a lot of shit to happen. Usually, I would let King Yorin make this decision, but I think I will make the decision for him. Pray that your ancestors forgive you. You die here now. Felt Filgore's life expire. It left ripples throughout this realm. You killed him, didn't you? Filgore is dead. I couldn't let him live. Perhaps my time among the dead has hardened my heart, but I don't mourn my brother. Yorin is a good king, but he would have been soft on Filgore. You did him a favor. Now, you must leave this place. Go, speak to Yorin, and tell him what transpired. And you, will you be all right? Your concern is appreciated. But in case you have forgotten, I am dead. You have already done more for me than I ever expected. I return to Sovngarde now. I will welcome my brother when he joins me. With luck, I shall see you there one day as well. The storm fists were panicked by the raging fires. We cut through the ranks as quickly as we could, but I'm afraid we were too late. Tell me, my sister. Gore is dead. I saved your sister's spirit and the crown of Freitas. Nurnhild is safe and my brother dead. I am all that remains of our family. My brother was honorable, if misguided. Despite his crimes, he will receive a royal burial. I will mourn later. Now there is business to attend to. Esteemed allies, I stand before my ancestors at this holy dragon shrine to seal our pact for the greater good. I stand on this mountain to proclaim how far the Argonians have come from the swamps of Black Marsh. In the name of my people, I add my voice to form this Ebonheart Pact. I represent the Dunmer and the Tribunal. I stand on this frigid rock to affirm our place in the Ebonheart Pact. I was discord. I fervently hope we can move this along, because it's freezing up here. The Nords offer the crown of Freydis. This symbol of power and wisdom provides the pact with the strength and authority of our Nord ancestors. The Dunmer offer the Judgment of Veloth, an artifact of ancient magic. This provides the pact with our skills and the blessing of the Tribunal. The 
Argonians offer the Nemic Egg, sacred symbol of birth and life, thus granting our wisdom and the memories of the Hist to the Pact. With these offerings, the Pact is sealed. Let our nations become one. Further, the Dunmer call for a single leader to hold this pact together. We believe Skald King Joran is the one to lead us. Let our enemies tremble at our combined might. I accept the role of High King of the Ebonheart Pact. We have much to discuss here. Please, champion. Return to Joran's stand and tell my son what has transpired here. Good thing I know this place very well. Years of playing Skyrim has really has really uh <clears throat> has really done me good I say that you know how many times I've beaten Skyrim and have to go through the Skull Dolphin with all the Draugr and crap a lot Well, that isn't all in my free time. No, not just like, well, I, you get the idea. You understand. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Welcome back, champion. What news do you bring from the peaks of lonely Skaldafen? Fieldgor is dead and the Ebonhar Pact is sealed. Fieldgor's dead? Then the villain has paid for his crimes. You've been by my father's side and have persevered when others would have faltered. From now on you shall be known as the High King's Arrow, for you lead the way and always strike true. King's Arrow? I have some news you might find interesting. I'm glad to see that business of Skuldorfen's dealt with, but a soldier's duty is never done. The Rift needs your help. What's happened? We've had an urgent message from Shorestone. They're under attack by Reachmen. Their numbers and ferocity are beyond anything the defenders have seen before. What can be done? Reinforcements are on the way, but the King's Arrow would be a boon to the defenders. Vigrod Wraithbane, leader of the Companions, directs the defense of Shorestone. He needs you. I'll travel to the rift and find Vigrod. And that starts um, the uh, rift. Awesome. Oh, hey, no, no, I didn't. It's... All right. Um, so what I will do um, is first go into this dell. Well, I'll, you know what? I'll do that off camera. <laughs> I'll do that off camera. At least get the sky sharded stuff. Mm. But yeah, I 100 percented. Um, my God, I've been going over for four hours now. Um, yeah. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this and leave a like really does help the algorithm guys and i will catch you all in the next one have a fantastic day goodbye